Hey gang, Nicole here. This is an example of a cool e-learning sample that I recently created. You'll notice that as I hover over the images, a line of text flies in and then flies out when I move the cursor away from the image. So I'd like to show you how you can quickly and easily create this animated hover text in three quick and easy steps. Step one is to add in the object or image that will have the hover effect. In my example, I'm dropping in a few images. So I can select multiple images and insert them all at once to save time. And now I'm going to lay out the images that I've inserted in a nice neat row. And to help me with that, I use the align feature that's on the format menu of the ribbon to align the images along the top and then to distribute them evenly horizontally. So this gives me a nice even row of images. The second step is to create the hover state on the image. So I'll select my image and head over to the states tab where I will click the create a new state icon. Now here's a little time saving trick for you. Once I'm in this field, if I just hit the H key on the keyboard, it brings up hover automatically and I can just go ahead and press the add button. Now on this hover state, I'm going to add in my line of text and I'm going to go ahead and format it a bit. And now here's the important part. I'm going to add animations to this text. So I go to the animations tab and I will add in an entrance fly in from the left animation and I will add an exit fly out to the right animation. The third and final step is to recreate that same hover state for the other images in my interaction. The fastest way to do this is to go back into the hover state that I already created and copy the line of text. Next, I'll create a new hover state for the next image in the interaction. And on this hover state, I will paste the text that I copied, and then I'll just update the wording. So this text will automatically retain the entrance and exit animations that I already gave it. So the next thing I'll do is I'll go into my next two images and create hover states for them as well. And I'll just do the same process. Now that everything is in place, I can preview the animation and make sure that everything is working as it should. And now when I hover over the images, the text description flies in and then flies out when the mouse moves away. So it's that easy to create this fun interactivity in just three easy steps. Thanks for watching.